A dragon is a reptile-like legendary creature that appears in the folklore of many cultures worldwide. Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, we are going to give you brief information of the various types of dragons known in this day and age. Dragon tales are known across the globe and they have a very rich history which have been portrayed in various forms. They continue to capture the public's imagination from books to movies to being displayed even on flags. Some dragons are differentiated by their color like the red dragons, the white dragons and even the green dragons. But we are going to differentiate them by their names. When it comes to mythical creatures, especially dragons, we need to keep in mind that one person's view will always differ from the other. So please forgive us if we do make any mistakes while describing these beautiful creatures. Number 1. Lindworm Mentioned by the famous Italian traveller Marco Polo, its name means ensnaring serpent. This dragon cannot fly but it has a pair of limbs. A lindworm's appearance varies across countries and the stories in which they appear. In Norse mythology, lindworms were serpent-like dragons with two arms and no legs. Myths tell us they usually invade churches and even dig up corpses in churchyards. Number 2. Fairy They may be one of the smallest dragons, but as the dragon ages and the color changes, they gain additional spells. Fairy makes its home amidst the tangled forests of the world. They are quick flying dragons with only a foot long in length combined with tiny bodies, a long tail and beautiful butterfly wings. A fairy dragon has a sharp mind, a fondness for treasure and good company and a puckish sense of humor. Number 3. Dragonette Just by the name, I think it tells us its size. Dragonet is a small dragon which is human sized or smaller. That doesn't mean it's not dangerous. These dragons like cool air and have slender jaws, long necks along with pointy wings. Some say dragonets live and hunt in packs. A group of dragonets can easily bring down a human victim. Number 4. Worm Among its relatives in the family of dragonic creatures, the worm is easily distinguished by its lack of limbs and wings. Resembling a gigantic serpent, worm crawls on its belly and is of European origin. They have a hard layer of protective scales. Scatha, the worm from the famous J.R.R. Tolkien fiction, was a mighty long worm dragon of the Grey Mountains. Number 5. Golden Dragons they are found in various tales from Greek mythology to Norse legends. Most say they smell like incense and look very mighty with their long tails and massive wings matched with large metallic horns. They are wise, friendly, create fondness and a love for dragon tales and the kind of mythical creature that can become your talisman. Number 6. Amphitheia Depicted with feathered wings, a dragon head and no legs, this dragon also resembles a large snake. It is also known as the dragon that was created by the fifth circle of mankind by using ancestral ashes and bones. It was about 3 meters long, also had two tongues, one normal and the other shaped like an arrow. The egg of the said dragon is light green and has paler green markings. It will eat any large mammal from the plains and the preferred nesting place is in a cave or large mound of boulders. Number 7. Hydra In Greek mythology, Hydra was an ancient, nameless, thonic water beast with singing traits that possessed many heads as mentioned by the poets. This dragon was located in the area of the sky that was known as the sea. It had nine horned heads which would duplicate even when cut, but Hercules killed it by searing its neck first to stop the blood flow and prevent them from growing back. Till date, many still debate on whether Hydra is a dragon or not. Number 8. Yinlong Included in the myth of the five emperors, this is a classical Chinese dragon with a serpent look. In ancient Chinese mythology, it is a winged dragon and rain deity. 
It is the oldest of the East dragons and are said to have the talons of an eagle along with the antlers of a deer and the eyes of a demon. Fun fact, this dragon only gets its wings on its 1000th birthday. Number 9. Jormungand Known as the World Serpent, this dragon was supposed to be the result of a love affair between Loki and a human giantess. Thrown by Odin to the seas, it was said to be very greedy that it ate so many fishes and grew to an enormous size. He even bit his tail and is always portrayed wrapped around his tail. Legend says the world will end if it releases its tail. Continental Germans attributed earthquakes to his movements well into the Middle Ages. Number 10. Wuvan in modern fantasy, wyverns are distinguished as smaller, more animalistic variants of the modern dragon that may or may not have a venomous stinger at the end of their tail. It is also one of the dragons that originated in Europe. It is a winged dragon depicted with bird-like legs and eagle claws on the tip of its wings. Some even have a serpent's head along with the hind end of a lizard. That is all for now guys. If we have missed any, do let us know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Please support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel and giving us your thoughts in the comment section.